China Food Security Law Comes Into Force, Aims for Absolute Self-Sufficiency. Reuters China's first food security law aimed at achieving absolute self-sufficiency in staple grains came I. NTO effect on Saturday, reinforcing efforts by the world's biggest agriculture importer to lower its reliance on overseas purchases. The law provides a legal framework for existing guidance by the Communist Party for local government s and the agricultural industry to raise food production, although it did not give details on how th. e law will be implemented. Passed just six months after its fur. Below are your comments. China has grains in storage to last about six months. China will adjust to get by with lower imports. China will arrange to get Russian and Ukrainian wheat while preparing for war. When Chinese government makes up its mind, expect them to reach that goal. China set a goal of being a leader in green tech. EVs, solar, WIMD turbines, electric batteries, high speed rail. Did the reach that goal? Yep. That's why the U.S. is scrambling to ban Chinese EVs and solar. Frankly, I think, if there are not trade barriers established, they will pretty much demolish most O. Oh, their companies in the world. They're extremely good. Zero zero. The advantage of the Chinese system. When the central government says it will be done, it will. We'd spend years and fortunes debating it and bending to industry lobbyists to get some watered down. Feel good measure. Then years of lawsuits. Because here one person can bleep a nationwide initiative. Before judges that feel a certain way about things, mostly envelopes stuffed with cash. Right, Mr. Kickback Thomas? Dot. From a global perspective, China removing demand for grains and legumes isn't a bad thing. Less demand means a reduction in prices. Soybeans, for example. Right now, China has moved away from American soy in favor of South American product. Should demand for imports suddenly drop, Brazil and Argentina will likely cut back production, allow ing American farmers to resume full production. Securing food and self-sufficiency? Chiba is prepping for Taiwan invasion. First thing US and Europe will do if China invade Taiwan is freeze all shipping of food and supplies. Dot. So China doesn't want to starve 1.4 billion population. They will revolt. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.